You ain't that bougie, Pittsburgh, where you can turn up your nose at Russell Wilson when you're messing around with Mason Rudolph and Kenny Pickett. You ain't that bougie. So, oh, we ain't interested. Oh, no? What, what else you got in mind? I would say the Patriots should be interested. Color me, surpri- color me surprised. <laughs> yeah. Color me surprised. I, I, think, I, I think the Patriots should be interested. I think the Falcons should be interested. I think all these, I think the Minnesota Vikings should be interested in Russell Wilson. I think the Raiders should be interested in Russell Wilson. And if all these teams say, oh, not our guy, he's not real, he's not, you know, uh, you know, too much drama, too much high maintenance. Somebody. No, it ain't that. It's not that. See that? Okay, that. Think, oh, I'm sorry. You finish, your thought, finish your thought. I'm sorry. Finish your thought. Finish your thought. Okay. I'm sorry. Because no, if you're trying to tell me, thought. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, no, finish your thought. Finish your thought. If finish not thought. those things, okay, I'll say that. If not those things, for the reasons you said, like for the reasons you said, I think he'd be my starter because the cost is just it's the cap league. No, it's a great. It's a great. It's a great bet. It's a great bet. It's just Worst irresistible. He's your backup. Why not? Why not find out and, what he got left, if anything? And. And uh, quiet as it's kept, you know, just uh, as an aside, uh, I'm in a league where I might have to, <laughs> I might have to draft a brother uh, as a seventh, uh, as a sixth or seventh rounder uh, in our what little league, league we got going here. What, what, what huh? league would that be? Because I've, I've seen we zero in. activity. I've seen zero activity from you. What league? I'm what league are you talking about? Oh, I'm going. I'm just out here. Okay. I'm just out here trusting just out God. Here trusting God. I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well but done. I would well say done. my final point on it is my final point before I toss mm-hmm. it back to you is mm-hmm. if all these teams don't want him as a starter, I think teams should be falling over themselves to have him as a good backup. If he's in the mental space to do it, he may not be. I'm not ready. He I may doubt, not be ready I, to I, accept I that yet. That. Yeah. I tend to okay. That. But short of short of any other uh, good option. Hey, if I'm a great team, and I already got I got my quarterback situation, but I know uh, through attrition, just the normal attrition of the NFL, I know I'm going to need more than one quarterback. I'm going to sit back and watch. I'll sit back and watch, and if Russell doesn't find the team that he's looking for, I'd have to make that call because uh, this is yeah. a this is a gift for other teams, so, and it's a burden for the Broncos. So I'm not saying he sucks. I, I don't think I've ever said he sucks. I've never said that. Those words have never come out of my mouth. Um, okay. And I, I wouldn't say that about most people. I don't know that I have over the course of several decades said that about anybody. That's just disrespectful. If I have, I apologize retroactively. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't think I've ever been that harsh to anybody. Um, but okay. I, wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't say that about Russell Wilson. That's extreme. I have, I have said that he's not as good as his reputation or his name value would suggest. Uh, he has nuanced limitations that escape people who just look at basic counting stats and say, oh, he had 26 touchdowns and eight interceptions. He must have been good. It's like, you know, it's not that simple. It's not that simple with Russell Wilson. Um, I think, so what you said a second ago, what I was responding to was you were like, oh, you know, if you think he's too much drama or he's high maintenance. See, that conversation gets conflated with what he is or isn't as a football player and Russ okay. defenders anytime somebody says that Russ is not as good as some people would like to think he is especially at this point in his career people I think this is just I'm just speculating I've polled all these people but it feels like people think that that is some sort of uh, some sort of um, you know knock or that, or that criticism is rooted in a dislike of Russell Wilson or that and it's about his character or, or, or whether or not let's just let's just, you know, call it what it what it what not what it is, but what the conversation often devolves into whether he's corny or his blackness ain't got shit to do with that for me. Ain't got nothing. To do, I, I'm not talking about Russell Wilson, the person I respect Russell Wilson, the person as I said the other day, he's won the game of life and he's still winning. We can joke all we want. Y'all could crack jokes yes, all you is. want about Russell Wilson. Yes. Russell Wilson is laughing all the way to the bank with this. Ha 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 Like he is laughing to the bank. So like, like they know jokes about Russell Wilson and they Sierra laughing to the bank. Okay. So no, like this is not a personal thing. So that's why I just wanted to like, like stop with the I want to I want to interject with on uh, on the oh he's too much drama high maintenance no I think he wanted I think he wanted his run of the operation because he thought he was on that level when he first got to Denver 
Sean Payton came in and said it's a new sheriff in town. His name is Reggie Hammond. Now, in fairness, again, to Russell Wilson, in fairness, like nobody could have imagined it being that much of a disaster. Nathaniel Hackett was not cut out to be a head coach. Hell, might not be a, a great play caller. He may just be a guy that needs say, to may be, not be an OC. Rogers. Right. May not you be know what OC. I mean? So, right. So, it, so he was not the last two years. Russell Wilson has not been put in position to succeed either because he had uh, a novice head coach slash play caller uh, absent Aaron Rodgers, the cocoon of Aaron Rodgers, or because he was Sean Payton trying to a square peg that Sean Payton was trying to fit into a round hole. So the last two years, I, look, is Russ as good as his heyday, the let Russ cook days in Seattle? Was yeah. he ever that good? No. Yes. Is he as bad as he was at times this the last two years? No. I think he's somewhere in between. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know that he, he's not as good as he once was. He's not as bad as he looked, especially last year. He looked a lot better okay. this year, obviously. I think he's somewhere in between. So all I try to do is kind of temper the the enthusiasm about him. Like, so if I'm an organization, you just rattle off all these teams that should be lining up to sign Russell Wilson. Yeah. I would say why. I would say why. And that's not a because they don't have question. quarterbacks. Because they okay, don't have they, they don't have good quarterbacks. The Patriots have the number I mean, three like, pick. The, the Patriots have the yeah, number three take, pick in the draft. Take take okay. draft a quarterback, draft Atlanta. one, and then sign. Yeah, yeah, but okay. And, again, but, and just to wait, be clear this, on the Patriots. This, this to be, well, let me be consistent real quick. Let me be consistent. Okay, good. I I like the fact that I would only have to pay Russell Wilson a million dollars. So that's intriguing to me. But I'm not mm-hmm. looking at. But let me let me be let me let me make sure I'm clear on what I'm saying here. I mean, my counter to you when you were like the Raiders should be interested in the Steelers and all this kind of stuff. It's like I don't think he's the answer. I'm willing to throw that throw a million dollars at him and see, but I'm not stopping there. Like if I'm the Patriots, I would prefer to draft a Jaden Daniels or Drake May. Unproven though they may be, I'd rather start with a young guy than try to catch lightning in the bottle with Russell Wilson as my bridge quarterback, so to speak. Um, if I'm the Falcons, we'll get to them in a second. There's been speculation that they may trade up to number three uh, with the Patriots. There's another quarterback who we'll talk about in a minute that they may that they may or may not be in pursuit of. Um, the Raiders, same thing. Uh, Antonio uh, Pierce said the other day, we don't want to keep band-aiding this situation. Pittsburgh, again, I'm not surprised that Pittsburgh reportedly isn't interested because even though on paper it seems like and he is an upgrade over what they what they currently have or what we think they currently have again russ is not like a oh we got to have this guy like he's the answer he's gonna solve all our problems i think there's a certain okay. way you have to play around russell russell wilson and a certain yeah, system maybe. that he needs to thrive in i don't know that he's just a guy that you can this is what we saw he is not a guy that you can just drop into a situation just add water and expect great results again a million dollars makes that gamble a, a worth taking so, so I think two things can be true. It could be very appealing from a cost standpoint, but I'm not falling over myself to, to get Russell Wilson and think our problems were solved. Yeah. The Broncos just found out the hard way. It's not that simple with him. Well, but see, this is what, and just to, to be, let me give you the breakdown though, uh, especially with Pittsburgh and New England. So let's start with New England. Mm-hmm. With that third pick, I don't believe the Patriots should trade that third pick. I think they should use it. They should use it on a quarterback. That's yeah. what I believe. And so I went in thinking Patriots, the third pick, they take a quarterback and their and then their veteran quarterback will be somebody like uh, one of these free agents, Ryan Tannehill, Gardner Minshew, Jacoby Brissett, one of those guys. But what's crazy, Michael, is that Russell Wilson is cheaper than yeah. the three guys I just named. You yeah, can't no, get Gardner Minshew for a million dollars. You can't get Jacoby Brissett for a million dollars. So he's that's cheaper wild. and he's better. He's better than those guys. So I agree with you. He's not as good as he was in the Russ Cook days. Not as bad as he appeared to be last year. You put that all together. You probably got the number 15 or number 16 quarterback Ooh. in the league. Middle of the pack. Ooh. Middle of the pack. See, you can name 10 easier. I'm, 11 I'm to 16. With, like my- my, my, I might my, give you a homework DNA, assignment. It's in my DNA. 11 to 16. It's, it's in my DNA. It's, I don't know. It's like it's a it's a gift and a curse. It's a strength and a weakness. Like I'm, I try so hard to be fair to people. I try yeah, so hard to yeah. be fair to people. So I'm trying to be fair to Russ 
And I'm trying if to. You don't think he's sixteen? I think you get to you, sixteen not, quicker you, than you think. Go ahead and be harsh. I think you get to, I think, with your I think elegant you get to sixteen. Language. Don't say I think suck. you get to sixteen. Say it better. <laughs> quicker than you think. Because if you think he's over to sixteen, you I think, think you, you get to sixteen quicker. Than, no, no. Like, wait, sucks is yeah. like you don't belong in the NFL. Sucks. So that's what sucks means to me. Okay. It's like you know, like okay. any, like you're like you're, you know. You think he's no, below he's average. Not. So okay, if you I think, think he's a seventeen. I think at, I think, get, at, I think at best he's average. At best. At best, he's average. I think you get to 16 much quicker than you realize. Okay, nope. I think you get to 16 uh, And then much the other thing. Then the other thing on, on Pittsburgh, I'll say as quickly on Pittsburgh. So New England should, should mm-hmm. want him uh, just for a year. Just for a year, get, just have him in there. And then you bring your young guy. It, 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 it takes the pressure off your young guy to play immediately. Now, if the young guy beats him out in training camp, oh, well, uh, you spend a million dollars, you move on, you trade Russ to somewhere else because it's just not going to work for you. He's not going to be a backup. All right, so it's really a no-brainer. No-brainer for... Uh, New England. It's a no-brainer for Pittsburgh. Why? Because this is an organization like the Packers, uh, uh, and may, at times Philly, but no, I'd say more like Pittsburgh and, and Green Bay. They don't spend a lot of money in free agency. They are looking for the deal. Why wouldn't you, if yeah. you're Pittsburgh, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you take the bar- deal? Definitely bargain's basement. Bargain basement. I mm-hmm. mean, it, it, that's their lane. I'm speaking. That's your love language, Pittsburgh. But, that's your love language, but right may, here. But maybe how are you ignoring? Maybe it? because maybe they see Russ the same way I and others in the league see Russ. Like that's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at. It's like okay, okay. Was, was, was this Denver situation? Did the Denver situation suck for him? Yes, it absolutely unequivocally I'm write did. Down some names now. Unequivocally did. Write some all right, names. keep going. It, it was a bad fit. It was a bad fit for him. It was not all, all on right. him. Okay. All right. Would I gamble a million dollars to make the Broncos mm-hmm. trade look even worse by having him come to my place and maybe resurrect right. his career? Yeah, I, I I probably take that gamble, but it's not. A slam dunk is what I'm saying. Again, I hope I hope I hope I'm not. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth. That's not no, my no, intention. No, no, you're not. Okay, that's not my intention. I'm not trying. To, I'm not, I hope I'm not contradicting myself from one statement to the next. But what I'm saying is, it's like, I, I it doesn't. That's what I say. Color me shocked. It doesn't surprise me that Pittsburgh is like, no, we're good, because maybe they don't think Russ is that good. I mean, you know, okay. like even four million. Maybe they're like, you know what? We'd rather draft another guy. Or rather, you know. Give Kenny Pickett a full season of a real offensive coordinator, or, or, or improve other areas of our team. I, I don't know, you know, like Tell maybe, me they don't, maybe they don't. But I, I'm not surprised. I just don't think he's this guarantee, you know. I wrote down. I just wrote down some names here. Two, four. Oh, you're going to do. Oh, you, oh, 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 you, oh, you want to make a list? I got eleven names. Oh, you want to make a list? I just got eleven. I just got eleven names right now. And just tell me. And and I'm telling you, I'm missing some. Because this is not a definitive list. It's off the top of my head. All right. So I'm missing right, some ahead. obvious ones. All right, ones, we'll do this. We got I, time. Go ahead. I ain't missing ahead. five. Right. I don't right, think I'm on, missing okay, five. I'm missing one. Go ahead. Who you got? Mahomes. Who you got? Go ahead. Mahomes. All right, of course. All Lamar. Right. Okay. Burrow. Allen. Yep. Stafford. Uh-huh. Oh, you'll love this uh-huh. one. You'll love this one. Brock Purdy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Justin Herbert. Dak. CJ. Brother from another's Jared Goff. I think that's eleven. Who'd I miss? You got five more? I don't think All so. Right. The, the, the guy that okay, the guy that Atlanta seems to covet, Kirk Cousins. I'll take Kirk Cousins over Russell Wilson. Oh, see um, now, okay, okay, okay. I'll give I you that. Take, I would take Kirk Cousins over him. I already told you. Now I already told you that I would. This is not somebody to add to the list. I already told you that I would. I would bet on Justin Fields' his potential. Like if I were a team, I would I would prioritize acquiring Justin Fields over Russell Wilson if I were a quarterback needy team. But I'm not adding him to this list. I'm okay, not adding him to this list of guys who are right now and, and based on their body of work are superior. Okay? So just to be clear on that. Um, Trevor Lawrence. It's better than Russell Wilson. Oh, I forgot about Trevor. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Trevor Lawrence. Absolutely. So I'll give you Trevor Lawrence and I approve. Our staff has approved Kirk Cousins and Lawrence. We're up to 13. After after last and now year, I think it's- after after last year, right here, right now, give me Baker Mayfield. Um, <laughs> okay. Give me Jordan Love. I see, oh, see. All right. So that's what I'm saying. Now, that, now we're questioning. Give me Tua. Baker Mayfield. Give me Tua. Mayfield. May all questions. I'll take Tua. All those guys. 
Two and maybe like right now, Mayfield no. Right now. So there's your five if you needed five. There's your five. Cousins, Trevor, Baker, Love, Tua. There's your five. If you just need I probably could keep going if I really wanted to. Probably yeah, Trevor, going. sure. Baker, no. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna reject Baker. I'll approve Trevor. <laughs> Kirk Cousins. May, you said right so now he hadn't Baker. thrown he hadn't thrown since the fall. Oh, he ain't, we ain't, we ain't qualifying hurt. for injury. We're not qualifying for okay. injury, are we? All right. No, we're not doing yeah, that. Yeah, maybe maybe Kirk Cousins. Uh Tua. He has he has not he has not been good since he got to Cleveland for one reason reason or another. But I take the Sean Watson right now over over, I would over not. Russell Wilson as a player. I, I take not. the Sean Watson. Mm-mm. Um, Mm-mm. They were better without one. Him. One could argue Kyler Murray. One one maybe I talk about guys you just want right now over Russell Wilson. I take Kyler Murray over him. Um, old ass Aaron Rodgers still got still got to count him. Forgot, forgot he's still playing. He ain't retired yet. Bro, we up to we we in the twenties now. My math is math and we in the twenties right now. Well yeah, because you because like because you just throwing like that you just go I'm ahead and say it shit then. against the yeah, wall. Say it, don't say he sucks, but say he's below average. You don't think he's average if you put in Baker I say Mayfield he's in front of best, him. At best and average. At best. You, so I, you, I qualify one could argue. Jordan, one could argue. One could argue for, for several of these people. But like if I'm just, if I'm looking for a quarterback right now and I got my pick, it's gonna be a while before I get to Russ. It's gonna be a while before. But I get the, to here's Russ. the problem: you don't. And, see, and I don't, this is see, why. That ought, to, that ought to show you. That ought to show you that it's not personal with Russ. That ought to show you that I ain't a hater because I'm sitting up here being nice to dude. I'm, be, I'm, right. I'm being too nice. I'm probably going. I'm bending over backwards, being too nice, being too generous. Like that's the, re- re- say, the reality of the situation. I'll give you 14 or no doubt. 14 names, no doubt, and then the rest of them are low. Like, yeah, if you shade it that way, shade it that way, use that metric, use that metric, you might have an argument. But I would say you said something important here. You said, I? if I tell, have my tell, choice. Tell me what that was. Yes, right. You said, oh, you if I have my but choice of quarterbacks, right. I'm right. not taking, uh, I'm not taking Russ, or I'll look elsewhere. These teams right. that I mentioned don't they have don't. a choice. They're either well, going to go well, with an dra- unknown. They draft one. Like it, right, yeah, there's an unknown. unknown or there's an unknown. You got Russ, r- throw him in the pool of available free agents. You got Tannehill, you got Brissett, you got Gardner Minshew. I mean, you got the, the, that's the caliber of, co- of, right. of quarterbacks in Russ. I mean, but there's, that's yeah, what you're there's at. at least four guys in the draft that again, if I'm one of these quarterback needy teams, I'd be targeting them first. At least at least four guys in the draft. You can do both. You though. know, I'm just saying you can do both. Yeah. Yeah, you could know it could be it could be a bridge. I just think he, I just think he's a shaky bridge, and I think he's gonna be he leaves and, a lot to be. And desired. I know you're not, but and for Mike, a I know you're not saying this. I, I get it. For what I find out, I know you're not saying it. I'm just asking. Do you think? Um, and because it's a separate conversation, you you think uh, you know he's just not that good. Just forget about all the other stuff, the extra stuff. Just Russell Wilson on the field. But yeah, Russell no Wilson off stuff. the field. By the way, there's no there's well, no extra stuff. I know like, you're like, not we, saying. We just, I know you're not saying. No, I'm not. But I just, but like, I just want to like reiterate. Like, what extra stuff are we really talking about? We don't like his less. We don't like him saying the less whispers. ride. We think he, we think we the think gossip. he's calculated. We think he's calculated. Yeah. We don't think he's authentic. We don't think he's genuine. Yeah, that, that kind like, of. He, stuff. He, That's what I mean. He, right. Just that but kind of not, chatter. He, he's not alone and in that know, club, and it, you know, how, how many teams went to birthday party? It's like, all right, like he ain't a criminal. The chatter. I'm going to blame some of his ex teammates in Seattle. Oh, for sure. <laughs> One of yeah, whom absolutely you work, I work with. with every Thursday. Okay. Yeah, every Thursday. I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about a hater. That might be the biggest <laughs> Russ hater out there. All right. So, but even with, but all that sure, being got PTSD said, from that Super Bowl. I know that much. Yeah. I, I mean, that's from that Super Bowl. dude be <laughs> melting down on the set anytime like Russ. <laughs> Russ had that game. Uh, we, he threw the interception. He just oh flipped it out. Yeah, no. We, he started we, we, flipping we, we, out. We, yeah, yeah. But do you think that is a, is that a deal breaker? If you're one of these teams, like if I, I've already mentioned, hey, I want to take one of these young quarterbacks. I want Drake May and Russell Wilson. I want Jaden Daniels and Russell Wilson. If you're one of these teams, would it give you pause? All the chatter, all the whispers, the gossip about Russell, would that give you pause about putting him in the for lack of a better uh, example, the Alex Smith position, 
where Alex Smith is very the statesman who's just sitting there saying, hey, I know this guy's next. I got one more year in this spot and I'm going to give up. I'm going to go to my seat you know, you and know, give it to the well, assistant. The assistant pastor go take over. Okay. Well, listen, uh, he gonna become I mean, the pastor. I mean, listen, Ru Russ is a man of faith. He's a man of God and he has often said uh, most recently, you know, tough times don't last. Tough people do. Uh, God's got me looking forward to the, what's next. So I if he's going to be consistent in that walk, that shouldn't be Russ's concern next year. Russ's concern and that's and I think that's why people were taken aback, myself included, quite honestly, about the idea of I want to win two Super Bowls in the next five years. Like, bro, you need to see to get land on your feet somewhere and put one foot in front of the other. Land on your feet and then put one foot in front of the other before you start talking about precisely two Super Bowls in five years. Um, not that we can't have goals, but a goal without a plan is a wish. And so um, I don't think Russ should, it, it should be his concern, nor based on the, the person he presents, I don't think it will be his concern what's in store for him beyond next year. I think wherever he goes, he's going to want to play good. He just needs to worry about playing good football. But one thing, one name that came to mind for me, though, was Geno Smith. I, I don't have the quotes in front of me, but I believe Geno Ooh. Smith had nothing but good things to say Ooh. about Russell Wilson as a teammate in that quarter. What? No, I mean, he was complimentary of Russ. At, no, I was going to say, no, he's better. Oh, oh. Geno Smith's oh. better than Russ. The guy who we replaced him? him. <laughs> he's better. What I tell you? I got to give you're it You're coming over to my side. You're coming over to my side of the yeah. screen. Little by little, you're coming yeah. over to my side of the screen. Um, but no, he, he was, if I recall, he was complimentary of, of the Russ, the teammate. The real thing is going to be, can he go into a quarterback room and either be a mentor to a young guy that's supposed to be a successor, or, like you asked earlier, could he be a backup? I don't know, because I think it takes a special guy to navigate the politics of a quarterback room when you're not the guy, when you don't have the big yeah, contract. That's right. You know, when when um, <laughs> when I, I was I was watching Moneyball the other day, and then uh, and when uh, Brad Pitt's Billy Bean went in and talked to my man Stephen Bishop's David Justice, and he was like, "You're not paying me eight million dollars to bunt." He was like, "I'm not paying you eight million dollars." The Yankees are paying you $8 million. <laughs> That's what they think of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the Broncos are paying you $39 million to not play for them. You know, so if he goes right. to another team, I don't think he can walk in there and come in on his high horse like he's going to be a savior, like he's going to be the face of the franchise. He's got to come in there just looking for a shot at redemption. And I think, yes, I think absolutely. if he humbles himself, I think he has a shot to do that. I think he has a shot to maybe do that. But... I don't know how I don't know how instant those results are going to be or, or how gratifying those results are going to be because of my reservations about Russ, the player, the player. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.